everyone, this is Michael from ePapery. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and that it's a crafting day for you if that's what you want it to be. So today I decided um, to show you some of the things that I've been making with junk mail envelopes. So today I'm gonna show you five of them and then in another video, I think I have five more that I could possibly show you. Now, because of the fact, as I've said before, it always takes me so long to decorate something, I'm not gonna waste your time with that. What I've done is I prepared one that is um, already completed and decorated. And then I'm going to show you how to make the base. So here we have a flip window and how it goes, hopefully I'm in shot here is you stick it on, you flip it on your page like this, of a bird. So hopefully you can see that. And then it also has a pocket down here where you can put a tag. You don't have to put a tag and you don't have to put a pocket. Um, but anyway, that's what it is. Um, I think I may have gotten this idea from an old video of um, Roxy Creations. So um, that may have been where it come from. I just, I don't actually truly remember. So, all right, so let's put that aside and see if I can figure out how to do this without getting myself all messed up. Um, so the first thing that you wanna do is is basically open the window. Open the window. Open the envelope. <laughs> you can open the window too if you want, but in Wisconsin, I wouldn't recommend doing that right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the temperature is today, but it's not, it's not great. So <laughs> don't recommend that. So just take a little bit of the sliver off so that you can open up the window. Um, I'm going to leave that um, flap of the envelope open. I'm going to use that, but you can do this even if you don't have that. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Okay. There, so you just need just a tiny bit off of it in order to open it up all the way like that. Okay, this we'll put aside because we can maybe use it for something else. Now on this one, as you can see, if I put it this way, which you want to be able to put your flap on the side that's got the most space there before the window. And the reason is because you're gonna make your, your flap here. And if you don't have this flap of the envelope, envelope excuse me, I'm having a hard time talking, um, then what you would do is take and fold over a portion of, of the side of the envelope to make that flap. I'm not going to do that because of the fact that I um, have this flap I can utilize. So. Uh, I'm just, I think I'm just going to use my scissors, although it's probably not going to be straight if I do that, but so I'm just going to make, cut off some of this envelope flap. Okay, there we go. And now um, we're going to want to make a pocket, so we will... It depends upon how big of a pocket you want. I mean, you can go all the way up to the to the window portion if you want. You can come down here. You can, you know, do whatever it is you think, however big of a one you want. And fold over where your pocket's going to be. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is, I don't know how it's easiest to see, um, take and cut off this bottom piece of that flap. Just like that. OK, 
Okay, so now you've got your pocket. Okay, now you can reinforce this pocket if you want. You can uh, fold over a little bit like this and um, to make the edge of that pocket a little bit sturdier, which, you know, I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to take just a little bit of my art glitter glue here and just push that down. Okay. And then you've already, you've got the slant here, but you want to do a slant here too. So that you don't have that piece sticking out. And that's basically what it is. Okay. As you can see, this one's a little, maybe a little shorter than this one. But um, again, that just depends upon how big your envelope is, how far you fold up the pocket, and then you can proceed to decorate it however you want to do that. Um, I collaged on the front of mine and on the front of the pocket. And then on the back side, you can put just some plain paper and then it can be used as a journaling spot. Okay? So that's that one. Easy, right? Not very difficult at all. And then of course your tag goes in here like this. And as I said before, it just slips on the side of the page. You can make um, whichever side you want. You'll just have to choose an envelope that is going to work. And then you put it on your page and it'll be a flip out so you can journal here and you can see through the pocket. So that's the first one. Okay, the second one is kind of another um, flipping pocket. This one has two pockets, actually three pockets in it. Okay, and now the envelope that I used to make this one was a little bit bigger than what I've got here, but um, basically what I did here is um, I'm going to, I'm trying to remember, duh. <laughs> well, the first thing you want to do is you want to glue your envelope shut, duh. That would be the first one, first place to start. If, if you don't already have it, you know, glued shut or whatever. And you can use an envelope on this one if you've, um, if you've cut down the top. Um, side of it you can you know you can use that because you're going to end up doing that anyway so what happens um now the, i'll show you what i did on this one so you have a big tag here okay it's a big big tag here and then you have a thing that kind of looks like a tag okay but when you flip it up there's a little journaling spot there and then you have a pocket down here that has a small tag. And then you have behind that kind of a hidden pocket that you can put like a piece of paper in for journaling. So that's kind of what the function of it is. Okay, so that is that. And then you decorate it however um, you'd like to do. Now this one would be meant to be, I don't know why I keep losing my signature here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael, put that there when you're done. Okay, this one would be meant to be put down on a page, or you could clip it in if you wanted to decorate all of it. You see, I did not decorate the back. But here you can just stick it in the page and glue it down on three sides and have another pocket here if you want, or glue it down this way and have a tuck spot here. Um, so that's how it would be utilized in your journal. Okay, so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off both ends of the envelope. And again, you, all you want to do is just take a tiny bit off enough to open up the envelope. Like just a tiny slit. I'm not even sure I did enough to that to even open it. Yep, I did. Okay. And then this one. Whoop. 
Okay, you can t tell I'm not seeing very well today, am I? Okay, that's a bit... Oh, excuse me. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can fold up this for our pocket. Um, you know, if you're uncertain about um, getting it straight, you can use the grid lines on your, on your mat. Um, brush it down. Okay, now once you get this decorated, then you can take your um, hole punch and put your thumber, thumb holes, oh my goodness, tongue is not working today, in there because this is going to be your one, um, see how it went in between the two pieces of envelope, that's going to be the first pocket, and then when you glue this pocket down, you'll have another pocket behind here where you can put your hidden journaling spot okay then the next thing um, that I did is I just and I'm gonna do it this way because it's easier I'm I just took this envelope and then I just cut it off like it's gonna be a tag um, like well come on scissors there you go so that you basically have a tag with a pocket. And that's basically all it is. And then all I did was turn down the one flap of the envelope um, and then proceeded to decorate it. And that is that one. Um, again, I, um, Let's see, did I collage? No, I, actually this is one piece of paper here. And then there's um, one piece of paper here. Obviously journaling spot, plain paper. And then um, I collage the tag and then I have some of my painted paper here. So, but you can decorate them however you'd like to. Okay, so that's number two. All right moving right along okay number three I don't know if I've seen this before or at least not made out an um, out of an envelope um, what I did is I took the envelope and I cut it at a certain spot here I'm trying to remember now which way of course I um, I labeled this but I don't remember now <laughs> Oh, I did it. Um, okay, so at any rate, you have a pocket here. This is a file folder. It's that you're going to make a file folder, okay? Um, so that needs a little bit of glue there coming apart. Now, again, whether you're if you're going to sew on any of these, you can do that, and I'm sure that you can figure out how to do that, um, knowing when you have to do that. So what I did here is I made a pocket here, or actually it's more of like a tuck spot. What did I do, glue it down now? <laughs> okay, we got it. Okay. Um, I had put some li uh, lining in that, just a book page. And I had glued this on two sides, actually two and a half sides, and left it more like a tuck spot. But then what I did is I put a tag in it, like that. You know, you can put a bigger tag in it if you want, um, however you want to do it. And then um, the other part of the envelope I took and I made into another smaller file folder. And you flip that down and there's journaling. Now, again, this one is, you know, meant to be put on a page as a as a pocket and a flip down but you also could do the same with this one where if you wanted to take a paper clip and clip it in you could do that too um you might want to decorate the back then i did not do that because i plan on using it as a pocket okay all right now since i can't figure out what all my gibbering was on this um 
<laughs> I wrote down a bunch of things and now I can't remember what I why I was writing them down. So um let me okay, I did mark that. Okay, and that's four and a quarter inches on my envelope. Now, depending upon what size envelope you're gonna use, you might wanna change that. Um, but I used four and a quarter wide here. That's gonna be your file folder. So what I did then is I cut off the envelope at that point. Well, first of all, I guess, again, because I'm using envelopes that have flaps, I should, you know, glue the flap shut. Okay. So there we go. Hopefully I'm within shot here. Okay. Okay, so then four and a quarter inches in, I'm going to cut this envelope. Just like that. So now I have two pieces. Okay, this one I'm going to make the larger folder out of. And um, what I'm going to do with this is make a small. Now I did this freehand. If you have something that has a tab on it and you want to trace around it, you you can do that too. It doesn't really you know, make any difference. Um, I had done it freehand, but in this instance, I'm just gonna draw around here, okay? Um, I had put on here that this tab is one and three quarter inches. That's how big I made it. You don't have to make it that way. You can make it whatever size you wanna make it. Um, and then I just proceeded to cut the envelope with the tab on it. There's nothing special about this. It's just, you know, a pocket, but it's maybe a little different. Okay, so that is the first part of it. Okay, there you go. That's your, your tuck spot. And you can proceed to decorate that however you want. Um, I had collaged mine, a little book page and a little other paper and a little label here. Now, once you get it decorated, um, including putting whatever you want to put in here, if you want to put anything there to hide your uh, security part of the envelope, then you will glue this, this um, tab down so that it doesn't move. Okay. And then um, you've got your little tuck spot. Then what I did is I took this other part of the envelope and, okay, in this particular case, what I did is I cut off, this is two and a quarter, okay? Um, so I measured, I, I just did it by eye as to what I thought looked good based on the original one that I did. Okay, so I'm going to cut that down. Now you have a little piece of envelope left that you can either throw away or figure out what else you want to do with it. And again, I did the same thing on this one, only what I did is I put the tab on the other side so it didn't, you, you could put it on either side, whichever side you want to put it on. You could put it on this side so it matches this one, or as I did, I put it on this one, you know. Now the tab on this one, I made uh, one and a half inches. I don't think, I don't even know for sure if that's, whoops, I'm erasing my pencil marks off here. Um, but again, you don't have to use measurements. You can just do whatever you want. Um, and as I said, I did this freehand um, on the first one, but you can always, you know, um, trace it from something else that has a tab if you want. And I just made the other envelope or the other file folder and cut around the tab.
in there. Now I round, rounded the corners on this side. You wouldn't have to if you didn't want to. Now you have these, you could leave it like this and make it another, um, make it another um, pocket. I didn't, I decided I wanted a um, journaling flip down journaling spot. So all I did then was I cut this side off and this side off. Okay, and then it flips down. Okay, and you can um, decorate that however you want to. I put plain paper in the center because um, I was going to use it as a journaling spot. And um, I just made the tab out of music, covered the tab with music paper, and then decorated it. So um, that is that one, you know again and you don't have to I mean you could put it like this where both tabs are on the same side it doesn't make any difference however you feel you want to do it but that's the gist of that one that's number three number four this one is I think fairly simple um, although you can make it as complicated <laughs> as you want um, let me stick my pin back in my glue before I have a problem. Because I always seem to do that. Okay, so this is just basically a trifold. Now what I did here is I cut out a little butterfly. I backed it with some um, cardstock. And then that way it kind of keeps it closed. Now maybe I glued it a little bit when I did the butterfly. <laughs> Come on, no. There we go. Okay, so then what you basically can do is you can, you know, hold down this part and flip your thing back down so you can stick it under the butterfly and the butterfly keeps it closed. Okay? All right. But this is just basically a trifold. Everybody's, you know, made these. Um, so it has... A pocket here on this end now I didn't put any tag or anything in there or any tab I mean you could do that and then there's one here on this side I guess I might want to put one because I can't get them out okay on this side and then in the middle I did put a tab on this one in the middle is a, a tag so and then it, you can do whatever you want to do on this particular one this was a um, a um, window envelope so I left the window there and chose a piece of paper that was going to show something pretty through the through the window so we have the window you don't have to do that if you don't want to um, and then I proceeded to just decorate these two sides and just leave them the way they are. You could, if you wanted to, put a piece of plain paper on these and make them journaling spots if you wanted to do that. Um, so that's, and again, this, I did not do the back of this one, but you could, and you could clip it into your journal. Um, but my intent was to glue it down and if you didn't glue it down on the top and you just glued it down on three sides, you'd have room for another tag if you wanted that. Um, anyway, so that is the triple triple fold. So it's kind of stiff. I gotta bend this a little bit so I can get it back under the butterfly. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> it's cute though. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Okay, so that's the triple fold. And again, I'm just going to glue mine down on a page. So on this one, what you start with is, again, an envelope. Um, I have so many envelopes. I decided I have to use them. I don't know. So you want to glue your envelope shut if it isn't already. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, now when I folded this, I let the one end be just a little bit shorter and I made it the front than the other ends. I don't know if I did that on purpose or if I just screwed it up when I <laughs> did it, but you can do it however you want. So basically, I just took my envelope and decided to just fold it. However, that looks like about what I did. Okay. So, and I burnished the folds like that. Okay, so now you have your base piece. And all you basically have to do now is just, again, open the ends because those are going to be your pockets. I think I got that open, did I? Nope. <laughs> I must not have had that straight because there. Okay, so you open up this end and then you open up this end. So you have both ends open. Now, you can do this next part one of two ways. You can just open up this entire thing um, and then glue it back together on the top here and here. Um, or what I did, and you know, I don't know if this is easy or not, but I just took my scissors and I just started at the fold line here and I just cut in just a tiny bit like that cut it out and that makes your pocket here in your top well maybe <laughs> okay Michael why can't there we go it is there and see there's your window so when you go to make your tag you just pick a piece of paper that will fit in there that's going to have something pretty on it to show through the window or you don't have to have a window at all and so this basically is you know when you when you make the the and you don't have to make it where that short part is the front you can you know whichever way you want to fold it you can fold it okay but you don't want to have it folded right exactly where the other one ends because if you do that then you're going to have a hard time opening and closing it. So, so there you go. That's and then you proceed to to decorate it. Oops, didn't get that glued very well, did I? However, you want to do that. So, and there are so many different ways of making these trifold pockets. So many things you can do. You know, you could put a pocket here, you could put a pocket here, you could put a pocket on each of the, the three flaps. Um, there's just so many different things that you could do. So that is the trifold. So that is that one. That's number four already, wow. Number five is extremely simple. Um, this one is a flip out belly band. Oops, for a minute there, I thought I put it on upside down. So it's just basically um, the envelope and you fold it down the middle and you have this inside journaling spot. And when you fold it down and you take it and you glue it to your page, you make it into a belly band. Okay, and you glue it on this end and on this end and then you've got your belly band where you can stick something under it like that. And then you have the flip out like that to make a journaling spot. I think I, I did one of these maybe when I was doing my Christmas journal. I think I went about it a little bit more difficult than what this is, but <laughs> same, same thing. It, it had a window in it, so I made a window one. But anyway, that is what that is. And um, if you 
want to. I'm trying to remember if I put those away. I just bought some little tiny paper clips. Whoa. Which I didn't have before, but I thought they were so cute. So if you wanted to, you could just take and put one of these really tiny paper clips. I mean, they are really tiny on here to keep it closed like that. And if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of ribbon or thread or something on there to decorate it up. And that's basically the fifth one. So that first one that we made, the second half of the envelope that we didn't use because we cut the envelope apart, I just basically took that and folded it in half. So in this particular instance, does this one fit in there? I'm going to put it here a minute. No, it's not going to fit. Well, it will fit if I cut some off. Duh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Michael. Well, and you do want to... You do want to measure this if I, you know, because you don't, however long your page is. Um, I think I made this one, yeah, I made this one about eight inches long. So I guess I'll, because I want to use my small cutter, I'll, you know, start here and measure out eight. It's just going to be right about there. So I just took that. Um, now, if you wanted to make a pocket on the front, you could just, you know, um, leave this on and fold it up. I didn't do that. I just cut it off. So, there. Now... Yeah, this one edge here seems like it's a little crooked, a little off. <laughs> Which means it would fit right in with my house. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit, clean it up a little bit. There. And now I have a little piece here that's not glued down very well. So I'm going to take and glue that down with way too much glue, <laughs> which I'm gonna get all over my mat. Okay, all right. Then I just folded it in half. And I can't see where the darn, but there. Just folded it in half, brushed it down. And again, you can make this go either way, whichever way you're comfortable with it. If you want it to open up this way, you know, or if you want it to open up this way. It doesn't make any difference. And then you just go ahead and proceed to decorate it. I decorated the inside with just plain paper so it can be used for journaling. And then I just decorated the front. Obviously, I just left the back plain because it's going to be down on the page. You're not going to see it anyway. But, um, you know, and again, you you can do whatever you want here. You could add another small pocket here. You could add a small tuck on this side of it to tuck some little things in. Um, you could put pockets on the inside of this instead of leaving it all for journaling. Um, there's just so many options that you, that you can do. Um, boy, I shouldn't cut that straight either, did I? <laughs> oh well, you know what? Instead of using my scissors, which I'm not always that great at. I, okay, where am I here? I'm just going to, well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. There, now it's straighter. I just bought this little cutter. I always kept, I kept saying I don't need one because I have the big one. But when I'm sitting over here and all I'm doing is cutting little things like to decorate something, then this one comes in much handier. And it's not very expensive. I, you know, I think I bought it at Michael's when it was on sale for like 40% off or something. 
So there's that one. Number five, just like that. Easy peasy. So let's take a look again at each one complete. And I'll just, you know, show you again how it's used in your journal. Number five is a belly band with, if you want to clip it shut, you can. I used a journaling spot. You could do whatever you want to with it. So that's that one. And that was just the back side of an envelope trimmed up and folded down the center. That's all that was. Okay, the next one was our trifold. And um, that's just an envelope that each end has been cut off and then the middle has been cut too. And you can do whatever you want with that one. If you want to make it a clip in, you can. I made mine so that it can be used on a, a page that's, you know, um, like that and it can be opened up so it could be glued. And if you only glue it on three sides, you'd have either a pocket here, or if you glued it on these three sides, you'd have a, a tuck here, however you want to do it, whatever your imagination wants to do. On this one, I just, like I said, I, I backed a butterfly in cardstock and made it so that it would, you know, slip under there and keep it closed. You could use one of these tiny pins that I was talking about, well, actually, that wouldn't fit. You'd have to make a bigger one than that. But you could use a paper clip to keep it closed. Or if you wanted to decorate the back, you could use a paper clip to clip it on also. So that was number two. There we go. Number two. Number three was the file folder. Um, and again, these are all fairly simple. It's not anything... So here we're dealing um, with an envelope that I've, I've cut to make it look like a file folder. And then it um, becomes a tuck spot here for a tag, which is like here. And you can make a bigger tag if you want. And then the second file folder I made into a flip down for journaling. Um, you don't have to do that. And again, you could, if you want to make sure that stays closed, you could I don't know how you're going to clip that, I guess. <laughs> Maybe this way, I don't know. You could, there you go. You could clip it like that so it's, say, shut for you. But that is double file folder pocket <laughs> flip down. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to call it, but anyway. And that is just made out of one envelope. Um, the bigger piece here is four and a quarter inches wide. Um, and then I just made a one and three quarter inch tab and just cut it up to make that, there you go, there's the tuck spot and then just made a smaller one going the opposite direction. But as I said, you can make it either way. Okay, so that's number three. Number four was this tag pocket, um, you know, and that has a tag here. There we go, tag here, a flip out here, a tag here, and then there's another little pocket back there that you can put a hidden journaling spot in. And that is made from one envelope. And I made this one again to glue down on a page. Again, you wouldn't have to do that. If you wanted to clip it in, you could do so. I made it so that it would, you know, glue down. You could glue it down on just, you know, these three sides here, and then you'd have room for another tag behind the tag. Um, or I think the idea I like a little better is gluing it here, 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 and here and even there if you wanted to, and then you'd make a tuck spot here. So that is that one. And that was just one envelope. We cut both, um, no, we did not. <laughs> we cut one, yes, we did. Oh my goodness, Michael, can't you remember what you did 10 minutes ago? Um, we cut both ends off the envelope. This one we folded up to make the two pockets. 
one where the inside of the envelope is and the other one that's going to be formed when you glue these two down. Okay, cut this top into a um, tag shape, fold this down, and then you can have your flip up journaling spot. Or if you don't want it flipped up, glue it down. It doesn't make any difference. So that is, um, what did I do with it? <laughs> there it is, number four. Okay, number four and number five was this one which was the um, flip flip out peekaboo window. <laughs> so you have the flip out here. You just put that on your page. It shows through whatever's here on your page. It's so it would depend upon which side your envelope is on. If I made it um, out of this envelope, then I'd have to find a page where there's something more interesting here to put it on. Um, and then, you know, I just cut a little bit of the tab off, folded this up into a pocket, and then that's what you have. You have a tag in a pocket here, and you have a window. So if I didn't have a tag in it, which you don't have to put a tag in it, you don't have to make a pocket, then I'd have a little bit more of my bird showing on the page. So that is number five. Alrighty, so those are the five things that I have made out of um, um, junk mail envelopes at this point. And some of them are gonna be going into this journal and some may not, but um, that's, that's what I've done. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, um, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and comment. <laughs> I'm not very good at that when I, when I do videos, but um, we certainly would appreciate your comments. It helps us know if you are enjoying what we're doing, if you're not, is the video too long, is it too short? I doubt that. Um, you know, are there certain things that you'd like to see us do? Um, you know, let us let us know. Um, Aaron and I are fairly new at this YouTube thing, so we're trying to figure that out. So the more you comment, the more it helps us, um, not only with YouTube and their, um, what do they call them, algorithms or whatever, um, but also with us knowing what type of content you're interested in. Our channel is a little bit unique because we have two of us. We're mother and daughter, in case you weren't aware of that. Um, I'm Michael, and then there's Erin, who's my daughter. Erin does the digitals, and I usually do the other type decorations that we sell for uh, using in your junk journal. Um, so we have two of us and we have two separate styles. Aaron's is more eclectic and modern and brightly colored most of the time. Mine is more subdued and more like, I think the majority of, of um, journal journalers out there. Um, and there are certainly people and users for both types. So we're kind of trying to cover it all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I will let you go today and we'll see you again at the next video. Thank you so much for joining us.